it has been concluded that the Pi network is the only one that complies with these conditions, and this topic was one of the main ones debated in the 20 forum. Welcome back to your favorite crypto promotion YouTube channel, people. Please be sure to watch the entire video to get what we have to say on the G20 forum session about the Pi network. Furthermore, remember to click the subscribe and notification bells to support our channel. Let's return to the video without further ado. Since the statistics were last generated, the information on active nodes has increased by more than 5,000, while the information on general nodes has declined by 100,000. The current fraction of nodes that can be discovered in the current area has also been influenced by this. The primary network's ecological address has also altered. The main network has not changed account related data in the past half month's worth of data, and the same mapping has not continued integration. Cryptoecology laws are one of the main topics being discussed at the G20 Summit today, and it has been found that the Pi Network is the only one that complies with these standards. The 20 is an organization that regularly gathers to discuss the most pressing issues affecting the world economy. It's members of the 20 countries with the greatest economies in the world. The 20 group represents more than 60 of the world's population and 80 of its gross domestic product. Argentina, Mexico, Russia, Saudi Arabia, Australia, Germany, India, India, Indonesia, Italy, Japan, South Korea, Brazil, Canada, China, France, South Africa, Turkey, the United Kingdom, the United States, and the European Union make up the current membership. New members are anticipated to join soon. The G20 was founded in 1999 to provide a forum for the major industrialized and developing countries' finance ministers and central bank governors to debate issues relating to international finance. This was a response to the financial crisis that had hit Asia the year before. Amid the global economic crisis in 2008, it grew into the Leaders' Summit, becoming a location where presidents and prime ministers from around the world could gather for two days to find solutions to the problems affecting the global economy. The G20 leaders' yearly summits have since become sporadic, with the first one occurring in Washington, D.C. in 2008, the second in London in 2009, and the third in Pittsburgh in late 2009. In the days preceding summits, senior officials, often referred to as Sherpas, gather to discuss the issues that will be covered with the ultimate aim of persuading G20 participants to reach an agreement at the summit. Similar to Sherpas in the Himalayas, they aid their leaders in negotiating frequently dangerous terrain and carrying out diplomatic work. Together with meetings of finance ministers and governors of major banks, there are also gatherings of trade representatives and anti-corruption working groups. Guys, as I know you're probably wondering how the Pi Network relates to the G20 specifically, please allow me to clarify. As everyone is aware, the Pi Network does not require a difficult computational and technological process to validate the Pi currency through the Pi Coin Network, in contrast to other cryptocurrencies. This simplifies things for the user while also relieving the ecology of any potential hazardous emissions brought on by those intricate technological and computational processes. One of the reasons the G20 is anticipating the P-Network's widespread adoption is because they had their eye on it for several reasons. Because there is no physical imprint on cryptocurrencies, blockchain technology makes it easy to track money wherever it goes on the internet, making it impossible to replicate or forge. Ethereum is the name of Ether's blockchain. And in contrast to the Pi network, which is completely distinct, the Pi network will operate independently on a blockchain that complies with all G20 requirements and is also environmentally sustainable. The smart contract, a crucial piece of technology, is included in the blockchain. This system allows for the tracking and programming of transactions. Automatic payments and deposits provide us with a glimpse of what the future may hold. Imagine instead that you could allow your money to choose where to invest, how much to spend, and how much to save on its own. You would be working with your money. 
smart contracts make it possible to transfer not only monetary value but also real estate, stocks, and practically anything else without the need for a lawyer, a notary public, or any other third-party service provider. This entirely does away with the necessity for a middleman. Investors have started to take notice as a result, and many people think that the Pi Network coin's underlying technology may be more reliable and successful than bitcoins. It resembles the most sophisticated vending machine. You deposit cryptocurrency in exchange for the precise things you want, and the entire transaction is automated. Right down to the penalty that will be assessed against you if you don't uphold your end of the bargain. The blockchain technology underlying the P network, in contrast to the technology underlying Bitcoin, which is only focused on payments, has a variety of diverse real-world purposes, including from gaming to banking, and much more. Even though you are currently more familiar with Pcoin, you have probably heard of Bitcoin. When it comes to the arms race that is now going on in the cryptocurrency world, the Pi coin is currently in the driver's seat. The digital currency known as the Pi Network coin has been available for some time. Since its beginnings, its user base has been growing, and when Bitcoin launches, it will probably be a direct rival. Despite its quick growth, the Pi Core team has not yet officially launched it. Instead, the open main channel has gone online. Investors have a very bullish outlook on Bitcoin as a result of its roughly three-fold growth in value since the year's commencement. The Pi network has finally, after years of waiting, reached a point where users no longer have to wait to see a real cryptocurrency in their wallets. This is true even though users now have a real cryptocurrency that runs on the Pi blockchain in their wallets rather than just seeing a random number in their Pi network app. It is true that Pi is not listed on any exchanges and probably won't be till the main network is made accessible to the general public. Although it is against the rules to buy or sell Pi coins in exchange for other cryptocurrencies, the community is already quite active. Many people are attempting to spend their Pi coins, but many more are attempting to increase their Pi coin holdings by accepting PS payments. Because many people would have been disappointed, the fact that the platform did not launch when the development team had anticipated it would raise interest in the concept. Because you are used to being let down in instances like this, you might want to give up if you discover the Pi network. Please hold off leaving just yet, because there will soon be an interesting update. The fact that the development team has been careful not to publish specific definite delivery dates because of what happened the year before suggests that we might be able to trust Kokali's estimate before the 14th of March. It is clearer than anything we have heard in a very long time, even though it is not quite as clear as we would like. But I suppose it just means it's a first step correctly. Yet in no way does this represent a significant advancement. Even if the development team has stated that the Pi Network will launch in March or by the end of 2023, Kokoli looks to have given some insights about it. Only Pi Network users will have access to genuine Pi coins. It is not permitted to list or trade on other exchanges, and the tokens involved are not real Pi tokens. Up until Pi is fully functional on the open main net, trading PIs will be the only activity allowed on these exchanges. Furthermore, there is no guarantee that you will receive the actual Pi coins you paid for on these exchanges in the form of IAS, even if PI is successful in reaching the open mainnet. All okay, bye for now. Press the subscribe and notification bell to support our channel. I appreciate your attention.